A lot of people assume I'm the younger sister, and I am. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Remember to moisturize, okay? And now I'm gonna pass it on to the best man, Jerry's best friend, Garrett. Detective Ryan's request, I ran a check on all our security systems. Everything looked normal until I got into the deep cove. See that? Oh, God. What is it? Our security system's been hacked. Key cards, alarm codes. Meaning someone could have broken into the simulation. Based on our backup files, these changes were made two days ago. Sometime between 11.10 and 11.14 at night. That's not the cat. Call 911. Wait, Tim, let's check. Please let me in! Please let me in! Don't you need security? How can we help? Oh, we have a, uh... I don't know, some crazy man banging on our door. He sounds like he's in trouble, like real trouble. Maybe we should try to help him. No. No, for your safety, do not open the door or engage with this man. Oh my God, Tim, somebody's after him. We have to... We are so... not opening the door. I'm standing here at the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Hickam Air Force Base pedestrian gate, where ancient unearthed Hawaiian bones will be blessed by local leaders. Relocating the gate will enable the Air Force's new partner, Global One's Carson Welch, to build new factories and fully privatize space exploration from Hawaii. And look at the excitement in the air. Probably some kind of Sunni good luck piece. It's Hawaiian. It appears to be King Kamehameha's Leniho Palawa. All the Hawaiian chiefs wore one, and you said the man who had it is now dead? Uh, yeah, which is why I need to know how he could have gotten something like this, because he can tell me where he's been. That necklace is what I think, and it's supposed to be entombed with King Kamehameha himself. Wait, are you saying that the king was buried with?